hold on to it. And he will enter um, the game. Yeah. No, he switched at the last second. Ah. All right. It is TP Flash Rumble. Oh, well. It'd be cool to see. Yeah, Megas Enchant Rumble. Maybe it's really good. But we're not going to see it today either way. Who knows if it's actually You can strong. pure jungle with Rumble. It's actually not that bad. Really? I'm actually surprised that Rumble in the jungle is any good. Either way, before the, the, before the shots start firing on the rift, send your game predictions to us. Tweet at LOL Esports with hashtag T8. Winner hashtag DIG win. Let us know who you think is going to be doing better in this one. The team fight comp versus the poke comp, to put it in generalization terms. And the crowd is chanting Bard win, who's not in this game. You guys are really bad at voting. Anymore. Good trade on a Kiwi Kid, though. Summoner heal used to keep himself afloat and a great shot on a Nian. He also pops his heal to trade back on a Core JJ. Oh. The flash blade to ignite. That's the kill. Core JJ gets it, but he's so incredibly low himself. The flash wasn't needed. Yeah. Nian was dead anyway. Dodo gets a kill back. Yep. Depending on how he distributes his time and effort, I mean, Calitros' flash is going to be back up before the repeat game. He's still on the warpath, so he's up there at Calitros right now looking for the repeat game. Well, they would have timed it. He's got a very small window. Calitros' flash is up in 25 seconds. We'll see if that's going to happen right now, though. Dodo comes in from the backside, looks for Core JJ. Here comes Porpoise. They're going to find Kiwi Kid. The flashless thresh. Summoner heal used, so does Ignite. Porpoise flashes out to stay alive. He will die to Kiwi Kid's Ignite, and Dignitas wins the 2v3. So, although Zingy was able to burn quite a few flashes, he got no kills for himself, no assists for himself yet. Not yet. In the end, they're gonna get just destroyed after the spell shield anyway. Olsen tries to run. Core JJ gets stunned, but Azingi is not gonna be stopped. Nice Q by Core JJ. Kelly Trolls will TP in, but it's into a one versus three. Did he even want this fight in the first place? No. Nope. Getting locked up. Flashes still gets flayed. Azingi shows up, and Kelly Trolls enters his own doom. There's some kills for him. Shifter comes running down through the river with his tail between his legs. Corpus goes in, he will find Kiwi Kid, and exactly where is his Thresh gonna go? Towards the Dragon oh, Pit, and stay Zingy. alive! They answer back out of Core JJ, and it's only the Azingi passive. Kiwi Kid is still standing after all this. Azir <laughs> will finally knock down Azingi, but it's 6 to 2 for Dignitas. That is so cheating. Azir at Whack a Mole is just unbeatable. He's got three soldiers <laughs> covering all the bloodlets. Wow, that hook landed out of Core JJ. Arcane shift used, and all is well. Oh, just kidding, not all as well. Ignite comes on, a TP from Gamsu. They will knock it down, and Gamsu finishes the teleport. This is going to be a bit dangerous. Porpoise and the rest of the team are there, but Nian has to feel afraid as Zingy and Shifter are both coming down. Sushi is late to the party, but maybe they do enough in time. Gamsu's rage bar almost empty. House lands onto Nian, who took a turret shot. A bit oh, of an nice overextend, and they will get the kill with Shifter on the E. Equalizer comes back, they will trade back towards Gamsu. Team may have a bit of room to work with now as the wave comes into the turret. Blow for blow here in the bottom lane. Zingy does not have passive. Yeah, but he does have the last swing shot, and out he goes. It will be the turret kill picked up, so teammate go one for one, I believe. And Dragon in two minutes. Ooh, red buff, Core JJ. He popped the Cutlass slow already. Kiwi Kid's gonna join the flay. Flash by Calitros will dodge the ult, but the flash by Core JJ gets the kill. An assist from Kiwi, but overall, a 1v1, essentially. Right now, Gamsu's stuck in mini Nart, just timed out here. He's tired for a little bit, and teammate trying to just barrel their way in as ult hits three. Dinktosh just looking for poke. It's all they have to do pretty much all game long. And now they start up the dragon. Shifter running a little bit dry. Oh, yeah, man, Shifter's though. on the wrong side. Corbus is going to go in. Several T pop, flash engage. Dodo going to knock Core JJ over the wall, force him to get away from this one. And here come the soldiers. Kiwi Kid will ignite and die, but they trade back on the other one. A nice knockback by Azir. Keeps Gamsi from stunning the entire team, but there's still a lot of chase down. It's a two for one in favor of Dignitas, despite teammates' best efforts. Yeah, they didn't get, they didn't really keep anyone on the Rumble Ultimate. Plus, they were tanking Dragon. They rushed up. I thought they were popping it to just rush the Dragon, steal it, and back out. A zingy there making that Zach count. Able to get the AD carry. Sivir bounce into the team. Ooh, they're going to answer back though. Ezult will miss and a kill picked up as Kiwi Kid falls over for the second time in this game. The Gnitas are on it. Nar on the other side of the map. He is mega, but it's timing out. Has teleport, but Dragon's dying so incredibly fast. Porpoise not going to try to steal. 
Dragon number two for Dignitas is going to give him bonus turret damage. And Core JJ again oh, pushes fun. forward, slows down Dodo 8. And in comes Kiwi Kid. Sip Rolti pop the hook, nearly hits Lucy, but they're going to find a bit of damage. In comes the ticket to the back line. The bombs have arrived and Dodo is dead. And now the rest of teammate locked in a little circle right there. Nien falls off. The chase on a slushy, one hit away, trying to run. And he will he get out. It. <laughs> That's a three for one, though. Again, in favor of Dignitas, they're getting farther and farther ahead, and now they ping Baron. Yeah, flash for flash, summoner TP for Silver Ulti, but Silver Ult back up. In 45 seconds from now, teammates still holding on. They sit 4,000 gold down, but one good team fight we've seen from the likes of TDK. You can turn one oh. good fight around. Everything feels good again. No, that hook on a Porpoise is going to be pretty dangerous. Flays him back through the puddle. But wow, they get the kill first onto the Thrash. Porpoise trying to run Gamsu in the middle of everything. Gets double CC to say disengage from us, please, because Meganar is going to be too much to deal with. A one for one overall. And yeah, we'll see if teammate can do that. Maybe even a flank just to get a, around some of these guys, but they've not found ways to do that so far. Dig the toss. They start up on Baron Nasher, 33 minutes in. It's always been a tricky thing for Dignitas, but they're going to catch out Slushy. Down he goes. Shifter plus Kiwi Kid. Eliminate the teammate mid laner. Makes it even harder to stop this Baron Nasher. And Porpoise still around. 2,000 health left on it. He's not going to get in range in time. No, flayed out of the tunnel. And Baron goes over to Core JJ. Shifter is unstoppable. His fifth kill picking up Porpoise. He did. Botling kills went back and forth a little bit. But as soon as we got towards team fights, teammate have not found anything to do. Ulti on a Gamsu becomes Mini Nar. The trinket used to reveal him. Hook will land, and here comes the hard engage. All of them, but they push him over the wall. Slushy saves Gamsu for a couple seconds. All right, Silver Ultimate down. Now let's set up down. They still have oh, the Rumble Ultimate man. the end. Flash over the wall, use the end, can't quite get flayed, but here comes the engage, all the same. A bunch of damage from Azir, Core JJ still safe. Slushy over commits, a Zingy's there, the cannon turrets are as well. And another kill for Shifter, 6-0 oh, and 6 on this AP Kogma. Ooh. Yeah, he is a massive force right now. Gonna shred you, not only with the Void Staff, but also can tag one person with, oh. Yeah. One. Dodging what he can, they find Core JJ. The over aggressive Ezreal will get punished, and the end stays alive. Maybe this is the fight for Team 8. They've traded out their support. Porpoise trying to run, and Narl only stuns Kali Trolls. And Azir is, of course, in the fray. Goes in, finds Kiwi Kid, fights Shifter, but drops for it. The kill goes to the Dignitas mid later. Kali Trolls flashing out, stays alive. It's a two for two. Nien on the run does survive, but no health bars left for Team 8. Whew. Shifter just needed to land one more. Okay. Yeah, I'm just like processing. I'm not actually sure anymore. Hold on though, because Team 8 have come to set up the bomb on Gamsu here. Ulti comes across from Ezreal, tags on the two. Meganar is there. Nien is safe so far though. Team 8 able to disengage as Ziggy comes in but doesn't find anything. Slushy misses the uh, the combo to dodge away though. And he's nearly in range. Nar jumps the wall. The boulder's gonna land. Slushy forced ult them away, but he's still getting poked, picked up by Core JJ across the wall. And that's the key mid laner down from Team 8. Oh, uh, yep. They only get one, and he's toast. Core JJ, those mystic shots died and somehow take out Shifter. Yeah, this might oh my god, that's half health off Slushy, and that's a Riley's Crystal Scepter on this Kog'Maw now, so subsequent hits are much more likely here. Mid lane and hip goes down, top lane and hip turret is gone as well. This could be the fight that breaks the game right now. Kelly Jules overheats and he can't ult. He's got nothing to do and dies before he can equalize anything. Five versus four. In comes the engage. Dodo tanks up what he can. Slushy getting knocked into the inhibitor. Betrayed by his own base. Knocks in Kiwi Kid, but there's too many kills coming across. Already three dead from teammate. Now the stun from Gamsu. The crunch takes him down. Four to zero in this fight. This could be Dignitas winning the game right now. Goomba stop if I've ever seen one there. Dignitas, congratulations on their victory to end out the week. Three and one for Team Dignitas. They end week two tied for second place. Four games into the season. The teammates still look for their first win. Have had a rough season or a rough split start to this split. Re-entry, if you will. Shipping out Maple Street for Nien. An attempt to switch things up. They definitely have a lot of work ahead of them.
Yeah, I gotta correct myself, by the way. I forgot both Team Liquid and Counter Logic Gaming lost today, so Dignitas tied for first, actually. I was expecting I guess those if they're all tied, you can call it everyone's tied for second. They're all they're first, second, and like third, and everything together. Yeah. You can angle that if you want to.